What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards and Comics here. We are ripping the last box of Topps Chrome Hobby that I have for my eight. I have not hit anything super crazy. I'm not sure when you're all going to see this. I am recording immediately following the last box that I opened. So it might be days. Who knows? But generally speaking, I have not hit anything super crazy. For those following along at home, I bought eight boxes of Topps Chrome Hobby at the National. We are trying to leverage everything we can get to see if we can actually maybe turn a profit ripping wax. Uh, so we are hunting for, obviously, Corbin Carroll, Adley Rushman, MVP buybacks, out of eight boxes, I have not hit a super crazy auto. Aaron Judge. I have not hit many MVP buybacks. Once again, I will do a full recap video once after this box, actually. I'll now be able to start gathering things up and, and, and getting things uh, moving. Here's a little Future Stars, Bobby Witt. Outer Pulos. So far, these boxes have not been a complete disaster, but they also have not been like out of this world crazy either. So Refractor, Hunter Green, Simeon. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, my best hit so far. Uh, it's hard to tell, actually. All right. We got a prism and it's an Oriole. Ah, there we go. Nice. All right. That's pretty solid. This is actually, I think, my second Adley prism refractor. This one looks a little off-centered, maybe. Yeah, she's a little heavy on the right to the left. But not bad. Last box, we got the James Altman Prism Refractor right off the get. So, solid start. I think those are like 20 or 30 bucks last I looked. Obviously, prices out of the gate are going to be all over the place on this stuff. So, it's hard to put too much stock into these early comps. There's a Miguel Vargas Refractor. Not bad. Oops, put that on top of the pack like a dummy. Uh, my numbered cards, for the most part, have been pretty decent. Uh, and then, like I said in the last video, I did hit one short print. This should be a Titans Juan Soto. Do I do really like these. Uh, there is a Adley Rushman uh, version of that. The thing that has been stingy that I, you know, I don't want to say I banked on, but, you know, kind of figured it would help along with this is the MVP buybacks, uh, assuming it's going to be Otani or Acuna. There's Gabriel Montero. I've hit a lot of his stuff. I don't know if they short printed Otani and Acuna or what. But curious for your thoughts and comments down below. Have you guys noticed anything with that i don't know what this oh is this a technicolor this might be technicolor yeah technicolor salvador perez these are really nice looking cards in person well austin riley and a jake mccarthy technicolors and the future stars have been about a one per box situation I do have one jumbo box. If I rip that, I will not count it into this project. We got a rookie refractor here. Eh, some random Oakland A. Pete Alonzo and Taylor Ward. I mean, I don't expect to hit like an Acuna Otani out of every single box, but I know I've pulled like Tristan Casas, he's been really hot lately. Another Prism. JT Real Muto. Let 
but I've opened eight boxes now, and the numbers are a little staggering on the lack of those guys. Refractor, Mookie Betts. Speak of the devil. If Mookie Betts ends up being an LMVP, uh, I will be a happy camper. <laughs> but I think Acuna's got, a, I don't want to say locked up, but he's probably in a pretty good place. Now uh, we got a relic card on this one. Carlos Perez. All right. This is the first time I've seen this. Jonathan India. Tops Chrome Authentics. And it does have game you use. Does this have a specific game attached to it? It must. Huh. Interesting. I did not know that this these were in this product. Let's see if I got a, oh, a penny sleeve for thicker cards laying around. I do. So I'll have to put that code in after and see what it comes back to. Interesting. I did not realize these were in here. So we got that as a fun little wrinkle. Just a plain white patch, but at least it's game used. All right, a little gunner. 35th, Jose Ramirez. So we hit that. No numbered cards, no auto yet. DJ LeMay here. Here's a prism. Byron Buxton. DJ Crone. Oh, no, Tani, finally. That goes in the, uh, which striker break column? Credit card pile. Those are credit cards. All right, we got, our, we got a refractor here. Mackenzie Gore. Christmas. I have not hit. I could, unless I missed one. This is my eighth box. I have not hit a Corbin Carroll yet. All right, we got a numbered card. Could be the auto. Could just be a regular old numbered card. San Francisco. Mitch Hanniger. Womp womp. Uh, that is by far and away, I think, the worst numbered card I've pulled so far. Out of two ninety nine, we did get the Adley Prism out of this, but we're still looking for our auto, and we are still looking for. I, well, maybe we won't get a number num another numbered card because we hit the uh, memorabilia card. Refractor, Gabriel Mon. If this guy was really good, I'd be on a gold mine. I've hit so much of his stuff. I just put that in the wrong pile. Rookie color. Uh, we got a purple here. Could be an auto. I don't remember the differences on the auto parallels versus the non-auto parallels. Oh, uh, goodness. I think... Is this the second one of his I've pulled? Man, the auto checklist is really haunting me. I feel like I pulled this guy, too. On an auto. This box is sad. All right, hopefully one more numbered card, unless that India replaces it. Usually it's two numbered cards per. Pete Alonzo. Thank God we got the Otani out of this box. To help balance it out. All right, we got another Prism. 
Almost dropped everything. Not familiar with that gentleman. Rookie color though, so we'll take it. Uh, three packs left. Uh, James Altman. A little refractor action here. Trey Turner. Two packs left. So the question is, is will we get something else numbered or not? Uh, Julio Rodriguez future. So all right, we are. It's right here. All right. Be something good. The Philly. Trey Turner. Out of 199. Womp womp. So this box has really had its ups and downs. But still, you know, we'll talk about it here in a second. All right, Refractor, last shot here, Tyler O'Neill. Hunter Green, Josh Bell. All right. Not the, well, I mean, we hit the Relic thing, so I don't know what that, I have no idea what the value on that is. It's probably not a ton. Could be, I don't know. So remember, cost basis for the box is around 160 bucks. I sold a redemption pack for 75. So that puts us at like 85, 90 dollars. Um, probably not a very expensive auto. Probably not a very expensive numbered card. Probably not a very expensive numbered card. We did hit the Otani. Let's assume that turns into a $20 bill. Whatever this goes for. And then probably the best hit, besides the Otani base, uh, is the Adley Prism. And like I said, as of time of recording, these are about 30 bucks, 20 bucks. Don't think it'll grade well. Probably a nine, just based off centering. Uh, maybe it squeaks by as a 10, but I doubt it. So, uh, a couple other little, you know, James Outland base, Gunnar Henderson base, and a couple random guys. So, that's the box. Nothing super crazy. Maybe the Indy is a, a decent hit, but like I said, I doubt it. Memorabilia stuff, even game used to a specific event, doesn't go crazy numbers uh, unless it's a really good player. So, curious for your thoughts and comments down below. Uh, and this concludes all my Topps Chrome hobby boxes. So, now it's time to sort everything out and see what we got. Peace.